Holy smokes, what's happening? Up, Black Santa, glad you made it. <laughs> Welcome to my shop, bud. Let me come on in and uh, give me a little shop tour of this place, huh? Where am I going now? All right. All right, kid, show me a little. Let me get a little tutorial. All right. Let's, uh, let's start with the entry here, right? We walk in through this little place over here. Then we come over here. Here's where I do me a little transmission repairs and stuff. I do a lot with Mark Mickey. You know, he sponsors us. So um, there's times where I, I'll sell a lot of his products. Not time, I do sell a lot of his products. And therefore, local customers, whatever, they need a little freshen up, they'll bring it to me for a freshen up. I buy all my parts from Mark Mickey. Um, just for freshed up stuff, basically is all I do here. I don't do them from scratch, but I do fresh them up, clutches, seals, whatever I need to do for that. Because uh, Mark Mickey's definitely my guy, and that's 100%. Without him, I wouldn't be as successful as I am right now, so for sure. Um, we'll do a little, you know, of course, everybody knows we do those pumps, so we do some pump repairs and testing and stuff like that. Also, the same bench, because it's like a real oily mess, basically, so works out good for us, right? So then we... Uh, And then we've got like my bolt selection. I've got different little fittings from Fregola and uh, Red Horse fittings, stuff like that, that uh, we do to plumb the cars, the nitrous or the fuel, the oil, stuff like that works good for us. So and then we've got just some makeshift tables where you can just do some, just different projects per se. So um, then we come on over here and you can see my wiring rack. I've got uh, all my Tepsil wire that I use to wire the cars with. Um, that's just some. Yeah, Kenny's crust from crimping. Yeah, that's that's that part right there for sure. So you, you got to have just different colors and varieties, so you you, know, you don't just have just one blue wire all over or one orange wire. You've got some stripes. Just that's one reason why it's definitely a high process because of the fact of the materials themselves that we use. So no uh, cheap stuff going on around here. So and we come over here and we've got I'm doing a panel right now for a car. This is just gonna be like a carbureted nitrous deal. So. Uh, still got the MSD grid. We're using a, a K and R switch panel that the customer wanted to use. So um, I basically have all this done. Hopefully within a couple of days, have it all the wires routed, able to put it in the car, and then little Kenny he'll come in and um, route all the wires where it needs to be, and I'll crimp them up, custom. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and it's uh, gone. So like that one I did from for Blake and McClaskey's, you know the the EFI deal. Uh, the whole custom harness in that deal, that whole car takes about 180 hours. That's me and Lil Kenny together. He'll have about uh, 60 hours in it, and I have about 120 in making the harness. Because I also, what I do, like right here, next project is gonna be this guy, but it's just my little scrap table for now. We've got a fuel tank ECU right here. Yep. So, and then what I do is I'll basically, I'll put this paper down, and I'll put some different little screws here and there, so I, can act like I'm making the, the harness. Hey, there's Kyla. Hey, Kyle, what's going on? You're on uh, national TV with the uh, Forever Grudge, of course. So this is where I kind of lay out my template of where the middle of the car is, the dash bar is, all that stuff. So I use it for like my harness making abilities. And you can see it's a real high tech table. Oh, got sure, the, got sure. the VP drum with the $20 uh, Harbor Freight dolly. No, it's, it's uh, removable. 
Yeah, that's more custom stuff, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, that, that depending on what kind of fuel that was, that drum was probably expensive, you know what I'm saying? That might have been a $1,300 drum right there, so. So how long, like, I so what's the biggest challenge? You know, when you're when you're wiring, you definitely want to make sure that all your crimps are really, really tight, and, and you don't want to have any issues with any loose wires because once you have it all shrinked, it can be really hard to find that loose wire. So um, definitely, that's the, the hardest part of it, and just the, the layout of making sure everything just lays out good. I don't want to just throw a harness in the car and it just look like uh, that. That's terrible. So, so. You, you did a lot of pressure on you. Yes. That's where the gray hair comes from. I'm not really that old. I'm really 24 with gray head. So. You look young. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like I'm 80. No. Nah, old. Yeah, so. Anybody that can do 50 push-ups right now. Yeah. I could probably still do that. Nah, I'm gonna do it like. Ooh. Little call out. All right. Did you eat? Yeah, I had lunch. Okay. So I should be good. I should be able to do 50. Okay. We'll do it like. You know what I'm saying? So. It is a lot of pressure on you, though, man. Yes, for sure. But then I try to keep all my little parts in stock and stuff. You know, like you'll see the little bins I got, like the, the coil connectors and all kind of little sensor connectors and stuff like that, you know, temperature injectors. So it's all just laid out. It's it's still a working process, but where's that progress? progress you get the idea. Progress, Somebody progress, is doing something. Progress. We're doing, doing something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then so over here on the floor, this this is not normally here, but it's here for now. It's going to Jeff Neiser's next. We just ran it this past weekend, um, testing. Yep, we we run this thing in uh, X for two years and had really good success with it. We two championships in a row, so and that's not a bad day. But this is mine. This is the one out of the Nova. This one we just ran out of the Nova, like when you film like uh, Sunday. This, this was the motor that was in the car. We just took it out, we're gonna take it to Jeff's so he can go ahead and do a fresh hone on it. Uh, make sure it's good for the new LDR season that we're gonna start out with, which is now uh, a new thing for us. So do something a little different. I am actually, I mean, a couple of reasons is the fact of I'm not having to uh, run Little Kenny. Um, so therefore I'm not having to compete with him. So that's one good thing. Uh, second is that Normally how we run at the duck races or the series, we run, or they run RVW, Pro 75, LDR, X, and an Ultra, which Kyla runs in. So a lot of times, I kind of, she runs that. So I'm having to miss her race, you know, or, or being able to get up there with her and help her, you know, get comfortable in the car or whatever, not that she needs it, but just because, right? I, I want to be there. Yeah, I want to be there, simple. I want to be there, simple. And then, so that'll definitely ensure me chance to be able to get up there and be able to uh, watch her run and see what we need to do with that. So, and yeah, and, and ride a McClaskey. So yeah. th therefore I'll be able to have more time with both of those. So for sure, but not knowing how much work she's gonna be or racing she's gonna be doing next year. Cause she was, she's gonna go back to work in Idaho. So work first, race second, which is wait, racing. Wait, 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 wait. She's oh, still gonna race some, as much as she can. <laughs> but we're gonna do our best for sure. So, yep. Yes, January 25th to 28th, and we will be ready. LDR, and she's gonna run. She'll be there for ultra. Yep. So, and then uh, little Kenny. This is little Kenny car and Ben Ben Miles car. If anybody needs to know, it's Ben Miles's car. But then the little Kenny owns the, basically the motor and the whole drivetrain, basically, and they make for a really good team to be able to go race uh, to help each other out and just whatever. It's, it is what it takes. So. Oh, I want to ask you this, man. 
110 percent you can't do it without it there's no there's no you know the, the phrase there's no i in team is is just the, the real stuff you know what i'm saying because i couldn't do none of this without all the help from Jeff Neiser, Minster Motorsports, uh, Wysco Pistons, uh, Neil Chance Converter, Mark Meek, like we talked earlier, the help of the whole family, Kyla, Billy, and um, little Kenny, you know, so all that. Pro Charger, Bill and Adam Miser, uh, Firecore 50 uh, plug wire, just so many that I'm, let me see, hold on. Yeah, I got, I got, our, I got our new shirts. Look, we just got our new shirts in. Oh, you got some with you right now? Yeah, they, well, they're upstairs. We just got them in. So, look, here's why I can, don't forget, right? Yeah. Fuel Tech, Nitrous Outlet, Bruder Brothers, uh, Mark Mickey, I already said that, Pro Charger, Wise Cove, Jeff Neiser, Jeff Neiser, Jeff Neiser, Jeff Neiser again, a lot of more Jeff Neiser, <laughs> TBM Brakes, <laughs> MacFab B Block, RC Comp Wheels, um, Fire Aid Fire System. Keep going. What else is there? See, I'd have, I'd have like a billboard. If I had to put a sticker on all the car, I'd have a whole billboard all over the car. But without these guys, I wouldn't be able to do it. So to answer your question about the team thing, you you got to have a, a lot of people to back you. Do, doing what I'm doing and it is. I mean, I don't think there's much difference in racing X275 or LDR than there is to race Pro 75 or almost RBW, but it's it's high yeah, regardless yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's tough to try to do it by yourself i couldn't do it by myself there's no way 100 percent help i try you know because i've been helped because i've been helped you know so I, I do what i can even when i go to the tracks i just kind of uh, you know i mean i just go around Awesome. Hey, Thank you. Yep. Good and bad, but it's all right. No, no, good. <laughs> good. That's what I strive for. I don't try to. There's sometimes I'll poke a little arrogance here and there. Like um, Damien made a comment earlier or on the Facebook about the that we're going to LDR, and I made a joke to him like, "Well, he goes, why are you want to move for?" I was like, "Well, maybe now uh, Milliken and the White Rice car can maybe." win a uh, championship yeah. you know yeah. but i say that jokingly because yeah, they, they actually told that to me like hey why don't you go to ldr so we can win a championship they told me that in my ear so i'm just spilling it back to the world basically you know so not knowing that story what i just told you like this arrogant bitch, you know what i'm right, saying right, that right. is not me you know on the outside, they, yeah they look outside at this guy yeah yep. but if they know me and i'm just want to get that out in the air to it was not that it's just they said that to me and i'm just i thought it was funny and i'm just reciting it and it can make me seem like i'm arrogant and ha i'm unbeatable not the case by no means for sure so yeah well i hope I mean, there is some out there that don't because just because <laughs> no they're we ain't worried about them but it's just the, the fact of it is you know what i'm saying you can't please the world that's for sure so, so let's give you the rest of it Okay, next we'll go to the, uh, this is our new addition that we added on probably a year, year and a half ago. Wait, so how long have you had this part of the shop? This part of the shop has been here since like 06. We actually built this shop before we built the house because where we were, um, which actually Ben, the guy that owns the white Mustang, he bought our old house. So we needed, we had to go, you know, rent the house and we had no place to park our trailer. So we're like, well, we better have him try to build a shop. And, but back then, like this shop was probably we probably have 30 grand in the whole shop. The shop, the slab, the whole nine yards, you know. It's crazy back in 06 how much cheaper it was. Now the new shop is four times that much dang there. That's on a good deal. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot the orange bathroom. No, it works good. No, no, it's good. It's got a plunger and everything. It's almost clean. Women, women can go in there and the potty if they need be. Oh, good. So we got orange toolboxes. This is an orange toolbox. We got like our, our crimp fittings and stuff like that. Oh, and hoses. Brand new, brand new. Tell my people, what's your favorite color? Blue. Okay, yeah. Orange is not your favorite color. No, blue. See, look, look, see, look. Told you, look, I got a blue chair. Okay, okay. 
This is a mess, sorry. I don't much work too much here. You got a blue magnet tray. Apparently I got a blue cup. Blue pliers. So this part here basically we built for for our, our car. Mine and Kyla's, LK's, and then the, the boom box of course, right? So that's the main reason why we did this. Um, of course it's turned it into, we're gonna do a little project truck here, a little pro charger for a buddy of ours. So yeah, yeah, the whole thing, there's nothing to hide here. It's just street driver, so. Yep. So that's what that's about. We're just gonna just rip this thing out and re not rip it out for the pro charger in there. Hopefully two weeks done, gone, you know, some of projects. But other than that, it's still, the whole thing is made for mine and Kyla's and, and little Kenny's car to, to park here and it doesn't interfere with our work over there. So I, I left the roll up door so we can roll, shut it closed and not even know that it's here basically. So, and we've just put, yeah. We put hers in the trailer, yeah. I should have left it out if you were gonna come today. I thought you'd come yesterday, but we put, put it out. But you've seen it. We're all seeing it. Yeah, so then like, um, this, is, this is a picture um, that when me and Kyla first, we didn't like, it wasn't like a race, but it was, you know, we got side by side with each other during like qualifying or testing or something, it was like testing or something. So they let us do such a thing, so. Two years probably, yep. That was, that was probably, it was definitely a lights out, you know, beginning of the year. Um, that's, that pass there is when I first, it had like probably six runs on that brand new motor and it, we had some serious issues with it. And then I actually hurt the motor. And then thereafter, during that race, yes. She won, she beat me. Oh, really? Well, you see that she's like, I gave her the move. Really, I didn't. I, didn't, I feel bad for her, you. Know what I'm saying, <laughs> it's my story. I can say what I want, right? <laughs> so, she'd be over there. She hasn't been able to put pictures up yet for me. They did that for me for my birthday. I was gone at a race. Yeah, I was gone at a race and I come back and this was done. Yeah, we've been so leery about doing it because those are, most of them are wood. So we'll have to screw them to that, of course. But we're leery because when I turn on the Tahoe, it like rattles stuff. Well, it rattles my neighbors two doors down, dishes off the dang kitchen counter, so. Let's see. So we got, so we got four alternators, look here. One, two, three, and then four alternators, right? And then we've got 615s behind your head. But you can look it up on YouTube, the uh, Kenny Hubbard defibrillator. And then you can, uh, 615s. And then we got, we're, we're about to redo all this because we've got three 9Ks, but we've got three more we're gonna put in here. So it'll be six 9Ks. Then we got all new batteries. We're putting all lithium batteries in there. But we got other things to do beside that right now. We got races to go to. Yeah, yeah. So then like, wiggle your way over here kind of deal. Then we've got uh, all kind of different little stuff. We, we carry LAT oil, um, extreme oil, maximal oil. That's for our cars and customer stuff, whatever. I think you can come through. You're kind of skinny. You can make it more to the shop thing so then you we also did it to where whenever we're loading cars we used to have to worry about oh it's going to rain thursday we better load the cars up on wednesday right because we got some muddy grass out there so it's a mess no it's kind of organized mess you gotta have you gotta have junk but you gotta have junk no look at it it's not that bad you got you gotta have like your old golf cart. You gotta have your cooking stuff for Georgia loaded up, ready to go. It's not bad, you know, got the hoses for, like a lot of the stuff we actually take to Georgia, like the freezer, the cooker, the hoses, the, all the, what do they call them things? Coolers, the little cookers back there. We don't take the pressure washer. This tote, 
and a drum of fuel. You know what I'm saying? Not bad. It's got a crawfish cooker, so. It's a little mess. It's a lot of junk, but. We still, yeah, it was about that exactly with the stripes. Yeah. We vary. Yeah. yeah but most, of the time most time we got to carry, because this is a carry upstairs, because we, we tried to carry another golf cart in the front with a car because the trailer is too small. It's terrible. You got a too small of a trailer. You know what I'm saying? And it's dirty because she didn't wash it. It's not my fault. I know. She's tough. Yup. Okay, come back in. You wanna go upstairs? Okay, don't fall down the stairs. Okay, next we're gonna go upstairs and see the little. That's hers. There's that one. Radio Fest Championship, which is an 18 Pro Series. There's another one I ain't unboxed yet. No, this, one's, uh, this is 20. This is yeah, 22. There's a 2022. Here's 23. Look, there you go. Now keep in mind, I've got, they're in the house, but I've got a, I think it's a 17, 18, 19. Second place, three in a row, second place. First place loser. All of them, even though I sucked in second place, I still worked hard. I think okay. this one was this year. Well, which one the hard, this is the hardest and this one was like sweating, like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna. They're all tough. They're all, yeah. yeah. But which one is your most memorable? It's gotta be this one. Because we won that, what was it? Uh, that was my first, that was actually the first race, the first race win in X for the year, or with that combo. Yeah. Yeah. You're winning four and you won four in a row. Well, after that. Yeah. Because that was. Ah, that was this year. No, and I won the championship with Orlando. Yeah. And then I went to Bradenton, won the uh, Snowbirds, and then ne the following year, which was this year, I won the, I did win Lights Out, but before that I won the U.S. Street. Oh, Lights Out was right. four in a row. Okay, yeah, yeah. But then the, but to top all that all off, and then we went to Alabama after that, and then I got into like third round. I was going for my fifth win in a row, you know? Well, that didn't happen, but Kyla ended up winning her first. But I'm gonna tell you right now, that was better than any, 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 anything. Right. Any of these trophies, just anything. That was just the, the, the best. I mean, it was just, forget what I've done in life. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go upstairs and take a look at the little inventory list. These are some stairs I built, sort of kind of steep. <laughs> little warehouse, yep. We got some fuel tech in stock, ready to go. We got Milwaukee stuff in stock, NGK spark plugs. Got a couple fittings that we're trying to load up on the wall there. Then we got, I uh, don't see that. And then, um, so I got my Mark Mickey shifters and trans coolers and stuff like that here. So keep all that stuff in stock. Hey, here's some shirts. Yeah, yep, yep. And yeah, Milwaukee stuff. I don't have all of it for like, but the drills, impacts, stuff like that I got. Um, excess power, I'm a dealer for them guys. So if you need, uh, lithium batteries or chargers or the D1600 or the S1600. I got all that stuff in stock too. So I can bring to the racetrack or ship to you, whatever, no matter. Yep. Yes, sir. Might be cold enough we can put some hoodies in there, you know what I'm saying? So also we, we stock um, nitrous outlet stuff like their bottle brackets. Dave Vassar, without him, you know what I'm saying? We would be, uh, we would be, we wouldn't be nice, exactly. Be nice because of David Vassar. 
I didn't really see the whole, I guess it's the part where the, I'm guessing what I've gathered was, because you know, I don't do politics very well. The fact of, I guess they took his banners down, I guess was the main thing. Uh -huh. Yep. Kick, yep. Robbery, you know, business is business. Yep, yep. Business deals, you know, you don't have competition. Mm -hmm. But uh, business is business, and I guess they got some type of people going on. And, but I don't, we don't know if he, if the Knights of Express did it. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But using Poland and Tom and all of them, or taking it down the I mean, it's, if there's no proof of it, I guess that's the bad part about it but you you gotta assume you know what i'm saying but i, I think he handled it or i don't know he handled it nice because all he said was just be nice he what i see he really didn't point anybody's like he just be nice you don't have to be that way you know what i'm saying so yeah. hopefully somebody reads that and sees it that you don't need to take other people's stuff down to, to try to beat them or whatever you know just just competition exactly but competition doesn't have to be that way you know what i'm saying it's, it's not a fight so if you want to fight then you know ufc does that then you can actually hit each other and shit you know Yeah, there you go and be done. Exactly. But that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? It's a competition of, of selling parts. So you don't have to, uh, to to do to deface anybody's product to, to do such a thing. So, you know, like I'm making uh, that leads me to my next thing. Like, I'm, of course, I'm building these these pumps that that uh, you, you advertise for me also type deal. And then but there's another guy that apparently is copying it doesn't matter just let him copy you know people's asking me hey did you do a, a patent like doesn't matter he, he copied down to the, the same cylinder that i use and everything you know but Wait, so a you could but somebody changes one thing and it's different so there's no need in it you know what i'm saying i'm just i can i can get that too and i can only do what i can do and if someone wants to copy then you know in a, in a way it's kind of flattering like hey they want to copy my stuff you know so, so that's you get mad, you mm -mm. not at all mm -mm. i ain't worried about it that's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna. I don't know the guy, no. But I've had a couple other people, you know, uh, McCain's and other people, like, hey, you know, what about this guy? Like, I, I don't know him. I really can't do nothing about it, and I'm not going to, you know. But like you said, it's competition. So if the the, the world likes my product and they want to buy it from me, awesome. If they want to buy his because of him, then awesome again. That's just like, say, Henry Ford created the, the automobile, I guess, whatever, right? But somebody else copied it, he can't be mad about it. People still buy Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge, whatever. So that there's enough to go around for sure. Same thing with like when I wire my cars, I have, if somebody comes to me like, hey, I want you to wire my car, how much is it? Like, oh, that's too much. I'm gonna go use so-and-so. Use him, it's okay. He's he's good, he works. That's I'm not you mad at the guy. No value that, that that's it. Like, yep. No, your value, it's my price. That's what it is. Either way, yeah, okay. you can't be mad about it because it there's en there is enough to go around. That's oh, sure. that, that's simple. Just like with you and all your all y'all's uh, your, your filming and stuff, all y'all get along, yeah, right? For sure, for sure. And you you do the same thing. You're you're doing it to try to put the money in your pocket. So no, if someone's I, I, I'm gonna be real. I, I don't chase money. Yeah, I, but I, 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 you gotta I, have it to live yeah, though. Yeah, but look, 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 seriously, seriously. And I know it's not about me. Mm -hmm. I tell people this all the time. I know how to attract money. Yeah. I know how to attract money. I don't chase nothing. If you chase it, something. No, no, no. But that's but that's but, a, but, but at the end of the day, it's still the same thing that, you, that you need it. Since I've been blessed in many different ways. To but make me get to another level. But chasing money is just like what you do in your hustle. For sure. It's the same for thing. Sure, for sure, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You you want to call it a chase or a hustle or whatever? It's you got to have it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For sure. Just like any anybody that's successful, they they chase it, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And they hustle. Sure. That's the same thing. I mean, yes, so same difference in the end of the day, but it's not going to make me mad no matter what anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yep. It's a different, different word, different meaning, depending on how you read it and how, how you want to read it, you know? That's the same with a lot of things in life. So I make some jokes to some other buddies and stuff all the time. Like, hey, it's not a racist joke by no means. It's how you took it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's that simple. So. Hey, look, another orange toolbox. Okay. Oh, and the blues. I told you, blues on top, right? Spam. No, we're good. Spam. 
I just spam call them. They always call me because they need something. Okay, I'm gonna go change the workout. Oh, let's go. We can go do a little uh, tour of the, the hoopty. Trophy up there. It's a nice one. Yeah, I need to put some, I need to put some more on there. There's an old one from 19. That's what I'm telling you. I, 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 I wasn't always good. <laughs> Little drag illustrated deal. Man, look, no gray hairs almost. Man, that's probably, that's probably 40 years ago. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah. So what are you most proud of with Hobbs? Like what's your like just her ability to, to chase a dream as I did, you know? I mean she's passionate about it, so has she always been a story? Well Junior dragged her a little bit when she was growing up, and then she's like, eh, it's too slow on board. So then we quit that when she was like fourteen maybe. And then I had this Monte Carlo myself we built. I used to race back in 2001 to 2005. That, that was the one you parked on Facebook. The yellow, yeah. the yellow one, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So then I parked it for a good while because I had a free ride with other people. And then I want to say 2019, she's like, I want to go racing. And I was thinking this is about when I was going Pro Charger. So I was like, I'm going to take the big black lectures out of there and put it in her car just so she can just burn rubber, you know what I'm saying? Just see if she likes it. You know, it wasn't a thought of a class. And then about midway of putting the car together, we thought about this Ultra Street stuff. She's like, yeah, I want to go race a class, Dad. So then that's when we was like, okay, let's put the small block in it and pro charge it, and then we'll go race Ultra Street. And then that's where that started, so. Not at all, zero. Because of the safety equipment? Safety equipment and just the fact that she, she's, I mean, let's, let's back up when you, when you asked about the driving part of it, so. When she was like two years old, you know how you get the little power wheels or whatever? She had like a little, like a little Volkswagen. She would just drive it all around the house. Like really like maneuver, not just bump into things, you know, like knew how to back up and go forward from the get go. And then when she was four, I think we got her a little gas powered four wheeler and that thing would do like, with me on it, I would be able to go like 25, 28 mile an hour. So with her, you know, when, 40 pounds, she was like 20 pounds, 30 pounds back then, whatever. Um, you know, I think probably going 40 mile an hour, just zipping up and down the driveway and stuff. So she, she, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was, no, I've lost six, I've lost 60, 65 pounds since, uh, I think probably six months ago now. So keeping it off for sure. No, that was it. That was good. Go ahead. The, the, the good thing is that, you know, so my shop is like literally, I, let's show you that real quick. So he's like, hey, where's the shop from his house, right? So you basically just, you know, I got a, I got a long ways away. So if I'm I'm late for work, uh, too bad. Okay. Nice, nice. I love this right here. Oh, you got legit. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's pretty dope. You cooking something today? What you cooking today? Let's see. Look, we've always got rice. Okay. I'm not sure what. Some leftovers. What's that? Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, crap. Dang, so you got a legit gym. Pretty good, huh? 
You work out, how often you work out? Probably five days a week. Real life. Like these down here? Oh, bro. You videoing? Mm hmm. These are just for show or for customers. Uh, for people want to come hang out and work out. Mm hmm. Here's mine up here. These are yours. Yep. 15, these, 20. These friends. We got to get down to these, can you? 60 pounds. I loaded them up here. You must have a dog. <laughs> yeah. You like dogs? Mm hmm. I do. Let's see. See if I can get this hang on you got a video of this shit. Let me see if it'll work. You might be too distracted with your dog, but mm -hmm. let's try. Zoe. Come here, Zoe. Zoe. But shoot, this is enough right here. Yeah. It's enough, man. Honestly, it's, I mean, it's, it's enough. You don't need nothing major. Like you yeah. got a mirror. You got the mirror. It yeah. looks like a legit gym. Yeah. Like this is like how big my gym in my apartment is. Oh yeah. Like seriously, and we don't have half the equipment. Mm -hmm. We got the dumbbells. We got the curls. Yep. And we got um, we don't even have a machine here, but we got the um, some type of bomb. We got the pull up bars. Gotcha. And, that's, and that's it. And that's it. Well, you that got one. Really that. We load that so much up and do, yeah. do all the little different extensions and stuff. Yeah, see, we don't even have that. And you so. can hook up a, hook up that chain in here, sit on the floor, and you see the rows. Yeah. You can, you can hook it up and yep. you can pull them forward uh -huh. or cut, pull them backwards. Even curls, yeah. whatever. Mm hmm. Looks good. Nah, this is dope. Nice. So. That's the answer to the, the part of the, the balancing um, work or what have you, right? So, so we might as well have a chair. I'll give you the comfortable one there. That's pretty comfortable right there. You'll probably fall in love with it. So uh, another reason to, to, as far as work goes, so of course I own an AC business. I got a, another friend of mine that works for us, uh, Charles Henley. So he, he handles all the AC side of it. Uh, and then my wife, Billy, does all the uh, calls and scheduling and stuff like that. So they, they pretty much handle that themselves. But there's times where I might have to go do a walk a job or something. That's the extent, extent of what my AC is anymore. But um, pretty much try to do full-time race car stuff anymore now. Just my wiring and tuning just all over. So it's definitely a balancing act where...